In Golf Digest, Chuck Cook gives us a great tip in the breaking 80 section for hitting draws and fades into the greens. He says to focus on the position of your right arm to the shaft in the follow through. So to hit a draw, your right arm and the shaft line up in a straight line like this. To hit a fade, as you swing to the finish, your right arm and the shaft should form a 90 degree angle. But Chuck says just as important is working on the other side of the swing, the back swing. And he said the key position is halfway back. Okay? If I swing to halfway back with my left arm parallel to the ground like this, he says there's three things you want to look at. Number one, you want your left wrist flat, okay? not cupped or bowed like this. Second thing you want to look at is the angle of the shaft. You want it pointing directly at the ball, not to the inside, which would be too upright, or this way, which would be too flat. And the third thing is the position of your right elbow. You want to make sure that it's still in front of your body like this, not back off your right side, which is getting the club too far to the inside. So Chuck says you want to work on this halfway back position on the driving range between swings. He said hitting draws and fades is a great shot making tool, but what you do on the backswing, the positions you get in, really determines what you can or can't do through the ball. So try these tips from Chuck Cook and you'll learn to control your shot.